It was about in October, a few months ago, that I visited Kobani. Um, it's a Kurdish city very close to the Turkish border. And what was very remarkable about Kobani that it looks like um, a moon landscape. It's completely destroyed. Everywhere there's destroyed houses and buildings. And it looks like completely inhabitable and it looks like almost impossible for people to live there again. But what is quite special about Kobani that the people are quite resilient. And we went with a couple of other journalists close to the border of Turkey and there were a lot of Kurds from Kobani returning from Turkey. And sort of, it almost looks like they were saying all the same message that we love our country, we love our land and we never want to leave our land. And there were a lot of Kurds from Kobani actually returning to Kobani and trying to make something out of it. So I was sitting in a destroyed building, which was, well, the, the, the apartment was still, uh, was still intact, but there were holes in the wall everywhere from, from the fighting in the past. And there was an old man from Kobani who was offering us uh, some vodka, actually, or whiskey. And he said, we are not allowed to interview you if, we, if you don't drink uh, a vodka or a whiskey with us. So we did that, and he, he told about how the city was there. And his, his, his daughter and sons, I think, they left to Denmark, but he was, he was like not willing to leave the, the city of Kobani. And, and he decided to stay there, despite that the whole apartment building was very damaged by the war. There were, there were holes everywhere. And the rest of the city also, you could see people that were in the buildings trying to repair their houses, although that the houses were full with holes in it and full with even dead bodies. And you can still find Ex like explosives are still there there's still people dying from explosives that isis planted there when they were trying to take uh, kobani um so it's a very uh, special situation in kobani that people are so resilient that they want to return uh to the city although that is completely destroyed and there's still people returning back and the most special moment in kobani i thought was that there's two uh, a couple from kobani that were marrying um in the time uh, that the city is destroyed and they were in a small park and they said um, that there was normally no dancing because in the weddings because the city was destroyed but this time when i asked them i said why you don't dance because you should be the city is now liberated and you should be a wedding is not a time for being sad it's also time for dancing so they still did a little dance for for the wedding and the pictures then were spread over all over the international media then that people in kobani are are still uh, able to have a sort of a normal life and 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 the couple actually were two female uh, a female journalist and a male journalist and it was a very they made some nice pictures in front of the destroyed buildings in the wedding dress and it was very interesting to see that despite of all the destruction people are willing to go back to Gobani and uh, pick up their lives again but the problem is there's almost no jobs there there's no services and the local administration has a lot of problems uh, finding international funding to rebuild uh, the city of Kobani because there was uh, international uh, support to bomb ISIS, but the, there seems to be almost no support for rebuilding the cities that are destroyed by the war uh, between uh, the Islamic State and the Kurds, but also in the rest of Syria and Iraq. A lot of cities are destroyed by the war, but there seems to be no money to rebuild all the cities that are destroyed by the war. But still, it's very special that people in Kobani are willing to return uh, to their city despite all of uh, all of the suffering and all everything they have have seen, and even after I think in June um, June 2015, when ISIS carried out a mass casualty attack in, against Kobani in a revenge shooting hundreds of uh, civilians, killing over 120, 130 people in an attack, and still people are willing to come back to Kobani from Turkey and even from Iraq, Kurdistan to to re uh, to continue their lives there.